that to not control fields. I, I don't need to talk to you unless you want flight Welcome following. Did you want flight following from there? Welcome to Prepare 3D Vision 4.3, I believe, or 4.5. It could be higher. Um, we are sitting in the brand new You're gonna do PMDG in there, 737 and GXU, um, the 700 series. And we've just logged on. Okay, to Jordan, four seven one. That field's actually that tower is actually closed at this time, so to I don't have, I'm not going to be offered to offer you any services at that airfield. So when you're ready to depart, Dustin, just give me a call and I can we give you a flight following where you're headed from there. We've put on the bikes, and uh, in just a few moments we'll uh, program the Jordan, FMC. Jordan, four seven one. The uh, we'll program the MCP. I'm going out there. We'll push back from the uh, Um We've already received the ATIS and the weather conditions at Orlando. Winds 360 at 11 knots, 10 miles visibility, view at 1,000, overcast 2,300. Temperature 162.12. Delta 1011, uh, right turn Center and right. All right. Um, so I'm new to this recording thing, so uh, please bear with me. Uh, I do not use chase plane or anything and, like that. Yeah, German Air Force aircraft, you're still on frequency, just, just walk 1200, that's the uh, to move my code around. for VFR. So up there, if it becomes in the United States. Uh, a little bit too much to bear, I completely understand. All right, so um, let's get down to business. Um, I'm actually a real pilot. Uh, I have about 6,800 hours. Uh, I have my airline transport pilot's license. And um, I've been doing flights from, 15, from, 20, 90, Jackson, uh, from 95, but officially um, did, did uh, I remember Jackson picking up Center, the first uh, copy uh, of Flight Simulator for FS-98. So I probably borrowed someone's 95. But uh, the first copy I had in my hand was Center, squawk 1065. Big fan of what is to come for Flight Sim as far as the new FS-2020. But that's not why we're here tonight. Um, so we're here so you guys can get a little understanding of maybe how to communicate if you're new to VATSIM. Um, also, introduction to myself. Um, Delta 660, uh, radar contact, have, 4 miles northwest of Lakeland, VOR, maintain uh, level 380, clear we'll, direct on. Uh, we can always talk about those things. Maintain okay, so um, these guys are not going to be on all night, so I am going to get started. Okay, so... Let's go to the flight management computer. All right. So through sim brief, I'm already um, I was already able to load the flight plan, so I can uh, get to this rather quickly. Uh, so most of this, uh, you guys may understand. Obviously, model that's straightforward. So we're seven two seven seven hundred SSW. We get the scimitar. Uh, winglets on this airplane, 24,000 pounds of thrust. The AirNav database is valid for February 2020, and it's right here. So it's active for January 30th to February 27, 2020. All right, we're going to go to position. Um, we're at KMCO. Uh, we're at gate... I'm not quite sure. Okay, anyway, we'll move on. All right, so we're going to go flight plan request. We're going to go NGXU. Front uh, are you able to hear voice? We're looking for, there we go, Orlando to KMSY, which is New Orleans. So we're going to click that. We're going to hit select. We're going to hit that, I believe, and we're going to give it a few seconds. All right, front do you hear me? All right, also, I've already received my clearance as well. So I am just going to pull that up quickly. Okay, so the pre-departure clearance, uh, Southwest 5295, that's a flight number today. Departing Orlando, equipment 737, transponder code 1044. So let's set that in real quick. Where is that? Okay, so one, zero, four, oops. Southwest 6125 Jack Center, do you receive voice? Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. All right, so 441044. Four, four. Okay, good. That's Southwest 6125 Roger Squawk 1063. All right, what else we got here? 
All right, file flight plan route, expect flight level 380. We're clearing um, the Orlando 4 departure uh, to Kamet, and then um, as filed, so we'll put these points in. Uh, maintain 5,000. Okay, so we'll set 5,000 in our MCP. Yes, uh, 3 Delta, let's go roger. for cancellation receipt. Time 0354 Zulu, squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Good night. All right. Um, departure frequency is going to be 12477. I would think we're on that right now. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the uh, yep. traffic. Okay, we got that. Um, Plan for uh, we're going to event tomorrow okay, in the afternoon forward. in Daytona, so we can get an this message. Push at, push at your discretion. Contact yep. Wind Rave Taxi. Okay, good. All right, so we are good to go as it pertains to that. Southwest 6125, radar contacts, uh, uh, 31 miles northwest of the Lakeland VOR, climb and maintain, flight level 360. Okay, so now we just have to put in the rest of the information, seeing that the flight plan has already given us what we need. So we're southwest 5295, so 5295. Uh, and uh, we have microphone now. All right, thanks. Uh, southwest okay. 6125, clear right dawn. Uh, we know we're departing one way. Clear right dawn. So departure, we're going to go 35 left. And we're doing the Orlando 4 departure. Uh, we're going to go to route. Uh, we're just going to go next page. Oh, oh sorry. We're going to load. Elite 813, Jack Center, do you receive voice? All right, thanks, man. I do appreciate that. Elite 813, squawk 1022. Okay, so we got... Ooh, did it remove something? 5798, you on frequency? Yeah, it did. Okay, so... We'll select 3598, ident, climb and maintain, level 360, okay. and say altitude. There we go. And our arrival into um, New Orleans is going to be... We get 5798, oh. ident. Okay, we don't actually have a star. Okay, so we're kind of going direct. Okay, all right, so we'll leave that for now. All right, so once that all checks out, uh, I like to go to plan. Record 5798, contact 4 miles northwest and of the northwest hit. Florida Beaches Airport, climb and maintain level 360, resume on navigation. Okay, go to legs, and then we hit step. Legion 813, radar contact 817 miles north of the St. Petersburg VOR, climb and maintain level 350. Alright, hang on a second. Cargo 71 Squawk 1005, maintain VFR, say altitude. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. That's weird. Something's going on. Okay, it seems to be working now. Cargo right. 71, radar contact, uh, one mile east of the Destin Airport, so I can um, so I guess maintain we'll VFR, that that. Uh, altitude or discretion, okay. just needs to be a plus 500 All altitude. Right. So the flight plan is done, we're going to go back to map mode, and then we're going to quickly do our performance. So we're going to hit initial rev, zero fuel weight, we're just going to click that in there, reserves. Um, so according to our flight plan, yes, sir. Uh, we have... Uh, two, four, five, five point one, two, five point five, pretty much. Okay, so five point five. Uh, cost index is thirty-five, and cruising altitude is going to be three eight zero. Um, okay, plan fuel. Uh, three ninety three, Jack Center. Do you receive voice? Okay, cruise. So we're gonna go look for top of climb. Where's top of climb? Right here. So we got two five six at eighty two. All right, two five six at eighty two. Delta six sixty. Are you able to go uh, point one mock faster? And we're gonna do an assumed sure temperature of forty two degrees, and we'll be doing ninety percent yeah, takeoff at point one. Just uh, like ten knots faster right, across the ground. Flaps one departure. Uh, yeah, no problem. At the we'll southwest end. Trim is going to be 619. So we're going to bring the trim back to yeah, about yeah, here. Yeah, you know southwest is uh, kicking like a chicken. What's oh, that? I was saying, you know southwest is kicking like a chicken. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, V1, V2, and V2 is 138. So in your MCP, you're going to set here 138. 
3-8. Alright, our flight director on. Heading. Heading should always be set to runway heading. So, um, I will... Actually, i got to look it up to see what exactly is. But anyway, it's somewhere around there for now. Alright, so, uh, and then we got 5,000 is set. And then I will go to the chart on the next video. Alright guys, so, um, pretty much the overhead... I'm sorry. So once we reach the takeoff page, once this is done, we are pretty much ready to go. Uh, you always want to make sure that your takeoff page is on the pilot flying side, but your co-pilot, or not your co-pilot, your non-flying page is on legs. There we go. All right. And all right. So next thing will be, will be startup and pushback. So we'll talk to you guys in a few minutes.